All right, let's take a look at sorting um, the columns here. So I've pulled my um, I've pulled my information through from the class page, um, and then if we want everything to be up at the top, the way that's the quick the quick way is to use your sorting. So I'm going to select this column. It's important to just stick with it one column at a time. I'm going to go up here to my sort and I'm going to sort in descending order. That pushes the names to the top and leaves all of the empty cells at the bottom. This is important. You get this little warning. Uh, you want to expand the selection to include all columns or just continue with the current selection. You want to continue with the current selection, sort, and then that pushes them all to the top. It also preserves the formula of where the name came from. Now, every time you dump the data in the class sheet, um, you're going to have to pull it through. I'm sorry, the sheet looks messy because I was playing around with it before and I didn't clean it up again. But every time you pull it through, uh, you're going to have to sort again because the way the formulas reorder themselves, I think. So you might have to play with it a little bit. Um, and see, that one didn't go when I told it to sort. <laughs> but it was working on the other pages, so I didn't select the whole column. There's something going on there. So it might be worth your time, I'm not sure, is to make two pages like this. So you have the addition and subtraction page where you dump your data, and then maybe another part over here on the side. You're going to have to play with it and see if it works. Um, if, if you can just do this, put the data in, and then quickly sort the columns, that would be great. I just want to show you real quick what happens if I sort all of the columns at once. It doesn't pull out the blanks. And even if I do a custom sort, I can still only sort by values and it doesn't give me a choice to not um, to not sort the values. Even if I do some funky things. So see it flipped it because I told it to flip. Um, but see how it's preserving this order here of the ones we already sorted. So again you uh, select the column, you go up to your sort, you sort descending and continue with the current selection, don't expand it, sort, and you get your names pushed to the top. I hope that helps. Uh, if you want to create a macro which would be constructing something inside of Excel that so that um, so you don't have to do that each time you can run a macro and it can automatically sort those six columns for you um, it's a little trickier and macros are kind of hard to save and move around because they carry the potential risk of having viruses with them so uh, like sending in through email that kind of thing doesn't work very well you'd want to have one spreadsheet that would contain your information, that would contain the macro, and then you wouldn't send that around. You'd just send the information. I hope that makes sense. So we're not at that point yet. If you want to make a macro, we can certainly do that. Um, this is the quick and dirty way just by, by um, sorting in descending order. Good luck!